Hi Fergus, so if you could just introduce yourself and the organisation. Uh, yeah, my name is Fergus and like I just said to you, I, uh, the Somewhere 2 thing, obviously I, my mum was a quite close friend with Rob and she told me about it and um, I, I did, I've done magic for a while but my confidence was really low yeah. so the only way, well her vision was a really good way of doing magic was to do a lot of this, I went to black and I wasn't even meant to perform and then Rob just asked me so I just kind of got the courage to perform and then perform and then ever since then I've been asked to do loads of other stuff with somewhere too and it's been, he actually has helped with me with confidence so yeah. that's really so you've got your self esteem yeah shut up yeah, yeah. 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 so uh, <coughs> what kind of challenges do you think you want your community versus well it's uh, money is a big thing because with this whole recession thing Especially all the creative arts, so stuff like drama and art and stuff like this, they have lost a lot of money. And it's only the solid subjects that keep going, so stuff like maths and science, if you do stuff like that. So money is a big thing and places to do, which is why, ironically, this somewhere too thing is a perfect, perfect mix. Because they provide the places to do. So that's I reckon. And also, again, the confidence is thing, because people are so quiet nowadays about what they want to do because there are so little options. Because they think, right, there's not enough facilities around for us to do it, I'll just give up. No, so I'm going to push it, so that's a big thing. So you're, you're really aware of the future and options? Yeah, there are. There's, hopefully, and it is already, it's really helping it grow and develop. Yeah, people yeah. 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 push it out together. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, in an ideal. What kind of things would your organisation produce if you had unlimited funds? Unlimited funds? Anything. I would probably do anything that people want to do. It would probably be similar to some of I mean, just you know, hiring spaces for people to do things, hiring classes if, like, um, for example, there's a skate park in Accrington, which isn't the best skate park, and if we had funding, we could make it better. We should make more people get to know each other and everything. So just anything like that, anything to help people.
that it shows to other people that they might want funding for, or they might want help from that it actually is it's working. You know what I mean? It's actually going well. So that's why they have that's why it, they have people from musicians to singers to rappers to dancers to kind of thing. They really try and get the biggest range of talent that they can get from quite massive out there talent like magic and singing to really like quite small but really still talented like drawing and stuff like that. More subtle. So they try and get as many different talents as they possibly can. So if they did want help from, from a company or a space, so it would be rented out for free. So the people that they want to rent it out of, it would look like it's not just a dead end. It actually is working. And actually, if they got, let's just say they rented a space of a certain company and it went really well and stuff happened, and it went well, and that company who would rent that space from, they could make a big thing for themselves. So everyone, if it goes well, which I actually think it really is, everyone gets. Everyone benefits. Everyone benefits, yeah. yeah. So, uh, is the internet important? Not well, it's <laughs> I mean, the internet kind of works with it, especially music. I find a lot of music artists nowadays, their whole career, a lot of their careers have started just by them posting their own videos on YouTube. And a magic is a big thing on YouTube as well, if you type in card flourishes, you see a lot. And then they, a lot of things grow from, from young teenagers posting things on Facebook or getting involved in liking pages like somewhere to or on Facebook to get themselves more. Or no, which again builds the process of them being big enough. But they anyway, might. To me personally, I have. I don't really use it. Just kind of like because I mean, I do magic, but if I was going to use the internet to make myself more happy, I would have to build. Uh, how do I say? I build a routine. A lot of magicians they sell themselves as wedding magicians, party magicians. I have been doing it for a year and a half, but I'm still quite held back on the routine. But this is really helping me um, find my own act. Because they, a lot of uh, comedians, they build their whole act around themselves. They build it on their own personality. Yeah. And that's how they get the success across. So I think it really helps everyone yeah. put their own kind of stuff into their own yeah. What did you first learn about magic? I actually, it was just, I, I can't remember, I think I was about 12 when I started to do it. And it's, it's, I love the, I love the irony about it, because you can get, you can take something like magic, which is actually seen as something that's quite nerdy and quite, not very popular, and you can take the polar opposite of that and choose something like football, which is massive, and everyone loves football, you know, and two completely opposite different things, but yet football, you go to football, you go to football, obviously if it goes well, it goes well. Magic is such a independent thing. You go from literally spending hours on end practicing by yourself in your room, different techniques or different muscle exercises and stuff like that. You go from really small subtle things that don't really matter to a lot of people, what do they really matter to you? And you can take that and you can go from your room, be really independent, to having the skill from doing that, to performing in front of other people. So I, that's what I like about it. I like the twist, the fact that it goes from really independent to quiet, and then from that to just out of nowhere, massive. Yeah, so telling you something. Yeah. 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 So, so if we, we explain this idea of education, for example, so access education, collaborative education, doing this in the education, so what, what, what would you expect from You could access online resources or free resources. I reckon it would it'd be good. Uh, it would help because people are so used to, um, if they find an opportunity, things being done for them. I mean, opportunities, they come across very rarely, but if they do get an opportunity, then they will, the people are part of that will help them advertise and do something. And the thing I think about this is that it's so good because you kind of get a behind the scenes benefit to, to how the not perform because of how the company does it themselves, yeah. and how, what their job is, and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I did, I did, um, I learned the blues and, and then uh, a lot of the things we had to deal with, it wasn't based around the performance, it was based around the whole behind the scenes, so how you get the sponsorship, and how you do the advertising, and stuff like that, so I reckon it's a really good, because, I mean, when people go into stuff like performing arts, or performance, they just want to do the performing arts, and the and the, the behind the, 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 the,
the career part of it, the educational part of it, that's quite not many people do that. Well, they might do it, but it's not very well known. It's not a big, massive, famous thing to be taken up on. So it's a really interesting so thing. The fact that you build it yourself. Do you think there should be resources that help you give you guidance on how to do it? Yeah, definitely. How to work into schools and work in this. Definitely. That's it for you. That's it for you. I'll show you again. We're getting this on film as well. Okay, I'll do it. I'll just make sure you can see me. Uh, just take your card. Don't show me what it is. I'm looking at the memory on the camera. The idea is, if I mix the, the deck up like this, the idea is to make it fair for you and not fair for me. So I have to just try and make this as fair as possible. So I give the game a really good mix. Now obviously the idea is that we have to mix But I'm going to be as fair as possible. It's not, it wasn't the mark. It wasn't the mark. It wasn't the But the thing about it is really cool, the iron and the magic. You can just take something like the six, put it on the table. You put your hand on top of the six and just think about it. And then we could just literally take, we could take this card, which isn't yours, I guess, take the king and just imagine that that is yours. So this is the king, here's the six, just imagine this is yours, and then I take the king like this, take the king, and I put it there, but it wasn't the king, you were imagining that it was yours, so snap my fingers, I'm off. <laughs> Do another one? I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, same thing.